The world of mobile payments is evolving. Smartphone companies are developing their own mobile payment systems, and there are more mobile payment apps than ever before. And now we've come to the next phase: virtual cards that don't even require companies to issue a physical card. Our Shen Zemin gives us a glimpse of the new cards. Say goodbye to plastic credit cards. Local card companies can now issue mobile credit cards without having to issue a physical card first. The Financial Services Commission approved the change last month, adding a new dimension to the mobile payment landscape. It costs roughly 14 U.S. dollars to make and ship a plastic credit card, but a mobile card costs nothing. We hope this cost-cutting measure will benefit our clients. To issue the virtual cards, the card company contacts the client and puts them through a process to verify their identity. To make a purchase, all the cardholder has to do is wave the phone in front of a card reader. It's convenient and easy to use. However, there are still a few drawbacks. As credit cards move on to our smartphones, there are still lingering concerns about hacking and security. And if the phone is lost, the cardholder is still responsible for all transactions made 60 days prior to the reported loss, regardless of who made the purchases. But perhaps the biggest deterrent is the low number of outlets that accept mobile payments of any kind. Of the 2.6 million registered shops or restaurants in Korea, only 50,000, or 1.8 percent, have mobile card readers. But with smartphones becoming a more prominent facet of our daily lives, experts believe that it's only a matter of time before the demand for mobile credit cards increases. Since I'm in, Arirang News.